Just got out of bed. On, I can hear uh, the train. Day. I'm awaiting now from our view to catch Stuart and the one to handle, which is uh, just a part of the town wall. It's just after 10. It's part of town wall at about 10 o'clock. It was also the lecture last night that was because uh, handled everyone yesterday because it's training wheels had come off, so it was being repaired. It's also Hayden briefly as we were heading towards the picnic, so we'll definitely be uh, capturing it from our accommodation because we, as I've shown the view of the previous part, that's definitely going to be worth shooting on the camera as it passes. So yeah, stick out for it. <coughs> <coughs> Wasn't there also something that happened with Rooster? Um, I'm not sure. I don't there think you. so. There we go, I heard it. <laughs> Is there something about oh, his engine? I need to keep looking at this. Yeah, I I think they did shortly before the event, which is why Fred took his first passenger train. Uh, that was Rusty. That was Rusty? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Rushton. Uh, no, Rushton and Hornsby are the builders. Oh, right, so... So Midlanders is the... Yeah. 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 So it's, about, it's about that stretch of bushes there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see. I'm just trying to focus on the caravan park, because I know it goes right past there. Yeah, because we agree. We'll be able to get the best of use of this camera, right? Yeah. It'll be, it'll be better once it gets to that bit of edges there. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm waiting for it to come to there. Yeah. Then you look. Or catch that double header. Falcon and Stuart. Right. So we've got we've got eyes on the double header. Oh, yeah. yeah that's there, there we is. go. There it is, double headed. Right there, and the rain's starting to come. Just in time for their arrival. Look that. That is, that, that is Sir Handel and Peter Sam. Or Stuart and Falcon, however you want to refer to it as. Pulling the train. As they go. And the rain is starting to plow down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, lovely. <laughs> of all the times. Right, they're moving now, and they're going to emerge any second. There they are. That's the double header. Currently concealed a bit by bushes, but you can just make out the engines. I think Sir Hayden is in front. Or Falcon, Sir Hayden. No, wait. That's Stuart. Yeah, that's Stuart in front, yeah. Yeah, they're both there. Chugging down the line. There's their whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got that just following the smoke as they go. So look at that. There we go. Beautiful oh, no, sight. Stuart is at the back, just green at the back. No, no, that, that's some um, Sir Hayden painted green. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Man. Presumably, I think uh, Stuart would be at the front with his face. Yeah. True, yeah, the happy You can see the older face of Sir Hayden on there in the second yeah, engine. Just pass it out. It's amazing. There they are. The best face. So there we go. There you go, that's Tallyclin Railway. Could just about make it out. And all from the view of our accommodation. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot I've just got. And that's probably a few hundred yards from us, but... Good shot like this. Cross the ball crossing. I'm gonna zoom out now and just show you how far off they really are. Just how far we are from it, just by zooming out a little bit. Like 
We can only just see it with our naked eyes. And after this point, you don't really yeah, see anything. That's where we last see them. But yeah, magnificent. A gorgeous sight, and Sir Handel pulling their first train since repairs. Right, so it's Sunday now. We've just witnessed Sir Handel and Stuart pulling their first train together. And we are still recovering from yesterday. We really knackered out. I've met one of the actual Audreys, a member of the family, uh, Veronica, who attended the lecture. And that is still so difficult to take in. Uh, met Tim Dunn as well, held a wonderful lecture. And today is just going to be wandering around a bit, have a look at the railway, maybe get on a train, like to socialise with some of the others who have come to see all this. Uh, Maybe get a bit of the area in general caught on camera. And I think that's all we've really got planned for today. Because uh, we've done most of the events really, yesterday. Uh, we couldn't get the photo charter, so we don't have anything on today strictly. Might get a chance to see someone ride Duncan. That's about it. Gonna get some breakfast properly wake up and then sit down to towing. Oh, you could get your drive now. Uh, I could see about getting it, yeah. I thought, you had, so to, we... I thought you had to book it. No, it was, a, it was a first come first day, but I think you have to just ask one of the, they might have a list, a waiting list in a minute. Alright, so we are back on the railway. We've managed to survive this rain. <laughs> end up getting a taxi. Luke has just collected his book <laughs> and we're just watching Duncan give people rides now. Hello there. Hello. Off Duncan goes. And Rusty and Fred are just chilling on the siding over there. <laughs> that was brilliant though. <laughs> I only had this two days ago, so... Oh wow! Two days and you've already mastered that? No, well, yeah, I know. Oh, well. <laughs> There we are, just coming past Duncan. He's been letting everyone come round and drive him. Get the bag away from the steam. <laughs> so there's Duncan. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So currently behind Rusty, you can just make out Duncan there, parked in a siding, ready to get some coal. If I go a little bit further there, we're having a drink. Oh, now he's a thirsty boy. There he is. Duncan's been working very hard today. Sporting the RAF livery. And bless you. <laughs> so it's likely he's just refueling before he gets back to work 
doing his little 10 minute runs, but there's every possibility that a passenger train could be coming into the station. <laughs> Bless you again. <laughs> so we shall just wait around and see what happens. So we've got a nice sight here. We've got Fred, Duncan and Rusty all vibing together. Oh yeah, there's a bit of mess up too. Hanging out in the yeah. yard. Looks while like Duncan gets some... talking. Oh there's definitely a conversation going on here. Rusty's probably having a go at Fred for not doing enough work or something. Uh, Duncan is probably just sick of their bickering. <laughs> Why would they be bickering? <laughs> oh, because Fred don't do his jobs, does he? <laughs> he leaves Rusty to do the work. Oh no, it's the other way around yesterday. That's true, Fred did save Rusty. Perhaps he's come to thank him. It's a beautiful composition that. See if I can get further back and get all of Rusty. There we go. Right, I'm sure I just heard a whistle, so I'm going to head back up. Because we are looking out to see if we can catch any trains arriving at station. You're going to get tickets, yeah? That's a point, I should actually get that sorted. Oh no, he's just... Yeah. Don't seem like anyone's turning up just yet. If I find out anything, I will try and get it all on camera. Right, it's not the double header, but we've just caught Ivo Hugh coming back. Right, so I'm. I'm... <laughs> So now Ivo has joined in the yard. What a sight. I want to know where Stuart and Andrew are then. Yeah, where have they got to? Or will they be... When is the photo charter? I expect they're pulling that. We just got Duncan on the move, which kind of upsets the chance I was going to take to get all four of them in the same shot, but oh well, we've got the fat controller. <laughs> but Duncan is on the move. It's a very busy yard today. So right now we're all uh, getting a good look at Duncan. I'm gonna try and get some pictures. Okay. Oh well, Luke and I asked, that's like an hour and twenty. I still need to get my ticket. Oh, Luke, remind me to get you that pin. Okay. Robin, give me the pin. <laughs> <laughs> Which pin? <laughs> Two, give me the pin. Give me the pin. <laughs> so I bought some clutching food. I bought some shortbread as well. I love shortbread. Shortbread is beautiful. Shortbread is my favourite. Cornish shortbread, Scottish shortbread. Never done. <laughs> <laughs> 
I met the kid from the lecture, by the way, in the gift shop. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I asked him about that, and I told him about the Bob and Wentford Railway and the North Tyneside Steam Railway. Yeah. Fun, so, so go to them. It's just occurred to me that we don't know for sure that St Handel is back in service. It could be just temporary. It could have been these two. Yeah, maybe. No, because they were both dark colours. Yeah. Blue. Oh, I mean, they, I we saw didn't Stuart. Have a camera, so I didn't see them. Yeah. No, it was definitely Sir Hayden or Handel. Because. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it. Yeah. Oh. They're going to be making a move now. Go on the chain. Go on the chain. That's it. Do it there. Do it from there. <laughs> and Duncan is off. As his iPhone. <laughs> Duncan's doing his 10 minute drive by the looks of it. Ivo's going into the yard. I think. I think it's safe to say we're all going to follow. We've got our ticket. Well, two of us have our tickets, but we've still got our I've got my tickets. Yeah, Jack's got his return journey ticket. Alright, so I've just booked my first train ticket and I'm going to reunite with my group. Just going to wait for the old clear to go through. And it's started picking up with the rain again. I know they're moving stuff about, probably getting Ivo Hugh ready to carry on pulling this train. So and I'm just going to be waiting out here but um yeah I'm only going to be around for a short time today and just hang out with the others in the evening nearer to the to our accommodation uh, obviously we've done all the events really yesterday so weren't much to do here uh, just coming around and having a nice chat with people uh, oh it looks like we can come over come on these two are Drive, they're they're sure. Move back a bit. <laughs> ah, Duncan's coming back, so I'm actually going to turn around and get a shot of him. Duncan returned from another one of his drives. I'm just going to wait for Commissioner Crossover. Perhaps not. Just 
Yeah, you were into the kitchen on your way by. I am, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Are you in India? Yes. Oh, it's on the TV. Also in the Serena, but yeah, hi. Hi. Yeah. Have you seen Charlie Jane's TV? He's around somewhere. Because I'm trying to find him. Yeah, this is right. Hi everyone! Mm. I, okay. If you see challenges, let me know. I will, I will. That's literally, I was gonna request this as... Uh, people literally saying, where is it to keep the 995? I've seen it. It's a library! Because it's just better than... Come to Velastum for extravaganza. Did you come to Velastum extravaganza? Last year on a Sunday. I didn't get to make it last year. First time I've come into Wales actually. It's nice, isn't it? It's so lovely here. Yeah. I've just come down with like a group of friends who have um, been chatting on Facebook and we do watch parties. <laughs> yeah, I think my mates are over there. Huh? Duncan. Yeah, here it is. over there again. Yeah. This time they gave him So we've just found this little secret miniature railway around the back of the wharf station. Uh, there's a little train coming in now. You can see a slight crossover of worlds as Postman Cat's uh, green dip. Postman Cat? Did I say Postman Cat? You said Postman Cat. Oh no. Right. Postman Pat. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh dear, seems like there's a problem with further up the line. Um, but the Greendale rocket and its express has found its way to Wales. That was quite frantic, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Then there was trouble. <laughs> and here comes Jenny. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 
refreshes. The, uh, we're worth having if you're a big fan of this kind of literature thing. I said it's B-roll, so... Alright, start ya. Let's go again, so... No click. There you go. Christopher Ward. Right there. Brilliant. Can I get yours as well? So we're just waiting for the train back now, going via Brindglass, and Fred's chilling in the yard. Someone's coming, so let's see who's puffing down the track. It's Terence! Oh no, Terence! We're hoping for Sir Handel and Stuart, but it's very likely to be Ivo. Hopefully we'll see Sir Handel somewhere along the line. Yeah, maybe pass him on a loop. If he's not heading the train. We're not opening the window on the way back this time. No, we're not. No. no, no. Wait! It's Sir Handel! Sir Handel! It's Sir Handel! So our train is just coming in to take us back to Bring glass and here he comes. <laughs> as just said, here he comes. As Sir Handel. Heads no down. way. He's here. On his way. Wait, this. Yeah, it's number three. Hey. Number three. Hey. Hey. Pick number three, my lord. Solidarity. Jack's got his number. <laughs> number three. As Sir Handel comes in, and we catch him. Oh, lovely. Welcome back in service, Sir Handel. Welcome. Look at those training wheels. Staying Heck firm. yeah. Roller wheels there. And the Sir Handel logo. Oh. There will definitely be a picture before boarding this train. What a lovely chap. And of course, that's our train that we are going to be taking. Is there anyone at the front? Was this the photo chart? Some people saying hello. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. So it's just Sir Handel working independently today. On his own. We were getting catching it as we came out through the platform shelter to get on board. Right, and then we've got their tickets. Yeah, we've got, yes, tickets. Get yeah, tickets, we've got special tickets for this, so we are this is going to be fun. Now on board our final train, which will be pulled by Sir Handel. As it should. <laughs> Goodbye, what a, tally train. What a way to wrap things up. So getting our tickets yeah, this, at this, the ready. This, this, this is indeed it. We are leaving Towing Wharf and Foster Towing Railway very shortly. No chance to have a little look back tomorrow before we go, but... Yeah. We do yeah. need to tell the guard that we're stopping at Brin Glass. Ah, yes, right. When he comes around to shut the doors, we'll let him know about Brin Glass. Well, my camera's a bit wet, but that should be OK. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Yes. So that was a nice last treat while we were down here at the wharf. Finally, we've seen him. These, All uh, mended with his steam train. roller wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the uh, handle with his steam roller wheels. So it's a really fitting end to our visit here. I say the only way this could have been topped is if Tally Lynn and Dolva were about. Yeah, that would have been the ultimate part to see yeah. them too. Well, we'll have to. See if we can see them in any of the uh, sheds as we go past. Oh, yeah, this is our last uh, well. our last train of the day. We're heading back to 
I'm heading back to my accommodation uh, to drop some stuff off. I'm not, I, I specifically need to drop off that very expensive book. Which I'm, I'm looking after. Which he's looking after for me. I'm putting my... You can just about see Fred there. there. And, uh, yeah. When, yeah, but he, it, it, uh, he saw a news, newspaper clipping about uh, the Terry Flynn, the world's first preserved railway. And that was where they right yeah, ball. I'd better, I'd better go there and see what I can do about it. That's mad to think about. Yeah. Yeah. He almost definitely rode in one of these carriages. Absolutely, yes. He was the one closing the doors on these carriages. Yeah, because he volunteered yeah, as a guard. Means, yeah, yeah, he was he's, the guard. He's, he's, he's touched these handles. <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> and well, stood in that guard's van. Probably driven some of the engines himself. Yeah, it was, what was it? I was going by the Tugs video. So he, vol he volunteered as a guard, a plate layer, and a booking clerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He and uh, he and Christopher, I think, would go along laying the plates yeah. and, and picking up stories from the from the railway men yeah. as they went. I think it's a shame Chris himself wasn't he didn't or wasn't able to show up. I know. To this, but Veronica showed up. Yeah, exactly. that incredible. No, she looks just like him. Yes, it's, you can it's see the Audreyness. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, her favourite was Toby. It's an it's, Audrey thing. <laughs> it's incredible, yeah, but, you know, like the Audrey family, they're still here and they're still involved. Yeah. Audrey will always be with you. In so, fact, he, he the... stood right over there, just watching them. <laughs> another, another, so probably another, another two, well, another two probably never connected, <laughs> but now just imagine Reverend Audrey and Alec Guinness have sat on that bench over there. <laughs> so, Alec Guinness, and that's it. That was a whistle from Stuart. Was it? That must have been Stuart's whistle. Huh. Yeah, this is the time to be sentimental. Yeah. It's all been so building up to this. Comes to an end we, get, we, we get one last around. glimpse at Tug. <laughs> 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 and just said one last glimpse of Tug. Oh yeah, before he gets on <laughs> the his photo literally, charter. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, literally in that green hoodie, sat there, blocked huh? by the pillar. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, he's there. He's sat at that table there. Ooh. To him. Mm. He's just turned. He's, he's sensing sat, movement. That is, that is the guard is getting ready to blow his whistle. Yeah, it was nice to see them yesterday with all their, uh, their lovely jackets and stuff. But of course, there. What was a muffin here? Ooh. That's the spirit of Audrey. So he's going to wave the flag. He's here. Oh, no. He's on the whistle, checking There's the time. Checking the time, getting ready to leave. Right, away, guard. <laughs> <laughs> the guard will blow his whistle and wave his green flag. He's standing right by Tug. And then the train spontaneously combusts. <laughs> no, he's not blowing it. Uh, not so quite yet. Soon. So I got some more fortune talk. <laughs> uh, I might just take a picture from there, just send it to a friend again for one more time. You're not here. <laughs> well, he's going to get a picture with someone. I should have gotten a picture with him. I said if you were quiet. Ah, well. I've, I've shaken his hand. He's wearing the gunpowder wagon t shirt. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Defuse it, gunpowder. <laughs> yeah, I've seen a few wearing the um, some of the um, the merchandise. Plant. Yeah, yeah. We saw the uh, uh, the Tidmouth milk yesterday. I would very much like a Tidmouth milk. The flag has waved. We are about to leave. We are leaving. Movement Shall has begun. Look. Our final train on the Tally Flynn. Stuart and Sir Handel pulling us away. No one at the front of these coaches. Ta-ra! <laughs> oh, no one's at the front of this. Is, is there anyone at the front? No. Oh, no, okay. Sir. Stand corrected. Well, look, we have a look at these old wagons there. So it's just Sir Handel doing the work today. Horace. Ah! In the tunnel we go. You cannot see me anymore. Now oh, you can. And yeah, so let the exciting. final train ride begin. Have a look at this, it's horn. What a chilling sight to behold. It's raining like a... It's 
raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Raining men. <laughs> Take in, hallelujah. Taking the smell. That's what you'll remember for the longest. Yeah. That lovely cold smell. Don't know what it is, man. Really. It's raining. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that actually happening. You just see a flood of men fall out of the sky. There's just a shit ton of blood we've got to the car. <laughs> Yes, oh, it's oh, Duncan. There we go. That's Thank you very much, sir. Last train. It was taken by Duncan. Thank you very much. We're just going to shelter under here. Thank you. And we're going to watch a train depart for our last time. Oh, I should check. I'll check that one. Onwards, Duncan. This is the first time I've seen the train depart from a different station. <laughs> uh, <laughs> safe journey! So Duncan pulling the train, leaving brain glass, and down it goes. And that... It would have been nice to go up the other side and filmed it like a shop and train spot. And so the steam posters filmed until Duncan was out of sight. We've got to cross there, I think. Yeah. Is that where we've got to go? I think I might actually go to the tunnel myself, actually. Is it down here? Jack, quit around the back. I'm just going to keep shooting. It's the greatest piss of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Right now I'm recording on video. <laughs> I've checked my shoes. I seem to be in the clear. We've walked through this wonderful farmland. Look at that view. Oh dear. What? No, I'm kidding. We had to cut through this lane here. And it was an actual shit minefield. Where lambs have obviously been roaming free. And we're now through that. The gate has been closed, just to make sure no one escapes. And we're walking past the farm cottage. I, I've already expressed this over video, but I had the camera on photo mode. And get a look at that. Now I feel like I'm back in Rivington. I'm gonna go on to photo mode and get a couple good pictures of before we move on.
Right, so it's starting to get dark. It's nice and clear out at last, even though it's my final night here. Uh, we've just been to Propaganda, and it was delicious there. Had a good meal out, and we're now heading back to watch the Magic Railroad and then die for a few hours. <laughs> we've just had some Propaganda, and I've got to say, I'm convinced. Yeah. Wonderful meals all round. Yeah, I think we gave our compliments to the chef, pretty sure we made his night. Yeah, still a lot. Delightful. Definitely eating there again if we're ever back, oh, which I'm oh, sure we will absolutely. be. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm recommending that to my family and friends if they oh, ever come to Tawin. Absolutely. Yeah. If you're in Tawin, propaganda. <laughs> and that's gander like the animal. <laughs> It's funny about us like going back to watch the Magic Railroad because we spent the last three days remembering all the stuff that we love about the show only to now go watch something to remind us about what we hate about it. The, the, the very start of its downfall. But alas, we've not watched it yet and it's the only part of, I suppose, classic Thomas that we've not watched together as a group. Yeah. So, it seems well, fitting. We've not watched all the season two together as a group. Oh, that's very true, yes. We've still at one point got another season two binge to do. No, we've got the Ghislaine era to go. I think we can pass on the hit ones, maybe? Or we'll just pick at them. Maybe best ofs or something. We'll see how we feel when it comes to those. <laughs> we'll feel much older and be much older, I'm sure. And no wiser. No, we'll probably lose a few brain cells in the process. <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's a few good episodes. Oh, of course, yes. As anyone who's watched usual Bloke Luke's videos will know, there are some gems. Wink, wink, wink. wink. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're near 2k at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, who knows? That'd be great, absolutely. That will be exciting. In fact, it's probably going to have hit 2k by the time anyone's watching this. <laughs> I hope to get... <laughs> I hope to get that uh, vlog about uh, 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 this vlog of my adventures here up on my channel uh, as soon as possible. Definitely. I'm gonna set up an account and dump my videos on there and probably compile them together in a few parts. Ah, oh, we just got back from, what is it, Propaganda, and we're now going to put Magic Railroad on. It got really bad during the last, like, bit of the journey, and we're what, Magic Railroad? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it will. Uh, the rain gave us no mercy, and we've now all had to get changed, and... I'm back in my jammies. <laughs> in... I'm back, man. I am vengeance fucking, again. I fucking hate you. <laughs> we're we're soaked through, and just <laughs> I've just dried off. Some some of us have gotten lucky and dried off. We're just gonna watch Magic Railroad now, and, and the then right aspect ratio. yeah, <laughs> and the right aspect ratio. Just remember to turn the volume up, and we're gonna take the piss probably. Yeah. What else to do?